Welcome to Today in Nerd History. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood first aired February 19, 1968. Fred Rogers explores various topics for young viewers through presentations and music, both in his world and in the neighborhood of make-believe. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Mask, aired February 19, 1994. In this episode, while investigating a rogue comet that's been traveling throughout the universe for over 87 million years, Picard discovers alien beings within the comet, which infest the computer systems on the Enterprise, as well as Data. The Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode, Bar Association, aired February 19, 1996. In this episode, after being forced to work while he is ill, Rom rallies the employees of Quark's Bar to form a union and demand better hours and salaries. The Star Trek Voyager episode, Death Wish, aired February 19, 1996. In this episode, while Voyager investigates what appears to be a rogue comet, the crew accidentally releases a member of the Q Continuum who has been imprisoned within it for over 300 years to prevent him from committing suicide. He then requests asylum on the ship which leaves Captain Janeway to decide whether he should go back into confinement or whether to grant his request for asylum, which would give him the opportunity to end his life. The Star Trek Voyager episode Darkling aired February 19, 1997. In this episode, the Doctor adopts some impressive character traits from historical figures into his Starfleet database, but inadvertently adopts several abnormal traits as well. The Star Trek Enterprise episode, Future Tense, aired February 19, 2003. In this episode, the Enterprise finds a small craft apparently from the future, adrift in space, and both the Sulaban and the mysterious Tholians are intent on retrieving it. Remembering Lee Marvin, born February 19, 1924, and passed away August 29, 1987. Known for his distinctive voice and premature white hair, he initially appeared in supporting roles, mostly villains, soldiers, and other hardened characters. A prominent TV role was that of Detective Lieutenant Frank Ballinger in M-Squad. He may be best remembered for his lead roles as tough guy characters such as Charlie Strom in The Killers, Rico Fardan in The Professionals, Major John Reisman in The Dirty Dozen, Walker in Point Blank, and the Sergeant in The Big Red One. One of his more notable movie projects was Cat Ballou, a comedy western in which he played dual roles. For portraying both gunfighter Kid Shaleen and criminal Tim Strawn, he won the Academy Award for Best Actor, along with a BAFTA Award, a Golden Globe Award, and an NBR award and the Silver Bear for Best Actor. He left school at 18 to enlist in the United States Marine Corps Reserve on August 12, 1942. He served with the 4th Marine Division in the Pacific Theater during World War II. While serving as a member of I Company, 3rd Battalion, 24th Marines, 4th Marine Division, he was wounded in action on June 18, 1944, during the assault on Mount Tapachu in the Battle of Saipan. He died of a heart attack at the age of 63 
and is buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Happy birthday, Jeff Daniels, born February 19, 1955. Jeffrey Warren Daniels is an actor, musician, and playwright whose career includes roles in films, stage productions, and TV, for which he won two Primetime Emmy Awards and received several Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild, and Tony Award nominations. He made his film debut in Ragtime in 1981 and continued to work regularly throughout the 1980s and 1990s in shows such as Terms of Endearment, The Purple Rose of Cairo, Heartburn, Gettysburg, and Speed. He found great success for his role in the comedy Dumb and Dumber opposite Jim Carrey. He also starred in the live-action Disney film 101 Dalmatians and Pleasantville. During the 2000s, he starred in The Hours, The Squid and the Whale, Good Night and Good Luck, Infamous, Looper, Steve Jobs, and The Martian. From 2012 to 2014, he played Will McAvoy in The Newsroom. He was in the miniseries Godless and The Looming Tower. And in 2020, he played FBI Director James Comey in The Comey Rule. He is the founder of Chelsea, Michigan-based Purple Rose Theater Company. Remembering John Bloom, born February 19, 1944, and passed away January 15, 1999. He was the tall actor who played the behemoth alien in the 1991 film Star Trek VI The Undiscovered Country. He was 7 feet 4 inches tall and made his feature acting debut in the 1971 B-movie Dracula vs. Frankenstein, becoming the largest actor to, to play the legendary role of Frankenstein's monster. He followed this with appearances in several more B-movie horror flicks. His first true venture from this genre was the 1975 comedy Up Your Alley, and followed in 1979, however, by another horror feature, The Dark, in which he played the title role. Yet another horror movie credit was 1985's The Hills Have Eyes 2. His other film credits include Bachelor Party, Runaway Train, Harry and the Hendersons, and The Great Outdoors. He also had a role in the 1984 made-for-TV movie, The Cartier Affair, and he co-starred in the TV movie, I Man. He also appeared in a 1984 episode of Alice, and was also a regular on the series Paradise, from 1988 through 1990. He died of heart failure at the age of 54. His last on-screen performance was in the 1992 film Frozen Assets. Remembering Fred Freeberger, born February 19, 1915, and passed away March 2, 2003. Fred Freeberger, also credited as Charles Woodgrove, was the producer of the third season of the original Star Trek. Happy birthday, Timothy Bond, born February 19, 1942. He is a director and screenwriter. He normally does TV, but has done films as well. He has done episodes of Due South, The New Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Star Trek The Next Generation, Sliders, and others. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.